how to install insulation below a floor slab. The site should be prepared and where appropriate, the foundations should be built up to the level of the wall damp proof course. A thin sand blinding may be used to achieve a continuous level surface. An appropriate damp proof membrane should be laid with joints well lapped and folded prior to installing the insulation boards. The membrane should be brought up to the surrounding foundation walls until it's sufficiently high enough to connect with or form the wall damp proof course. A strip of appropriate insulation should be placed vertically around the perimeter of the room in order to prevent code bridging. The top should be level with the top of the floor screed. The bottom should be level with the bottom of the horizontal floor insulation. The insulation boards should always be loose laid, brake bonded, with joints lightly butted. If an additional layer of insulation is needed, it should be horizontally offset so that the board joints and the adjacent layers do not coincide with each other. Insulation boards should be overlaid with a suitable polythene sheet to act as a vapour control layer. Ensure the polythene sheet has 150 mm overlaps, taped at the joints and is turned up 100 mm at the walls. The subsequent installation of the concrete slab and screed is carried out in a manner similar to that for an uninsulated floor, 